Good afternoon, you lot. Look what we've got here. It's it's a box, um, but it's not what you think is going to be inside the box. This box has come all the way from Holland, and um, it's had a nice old trip. Um, it seems to have survived fairly well. Doesn't seem to be much damage to the box, so let's hope what's inside the box has survived nicely. So let's put you lot on the tripod, and we'll have a little look. Rightio. So inside this box as I say it's come all the way from Holland um, and it, it seems to have survived fairly well let's see I'm not really sure what the best way is to open this box it looks like they've put tape it come from a subscriber um, sent to me he said do, do you want this so I said uh yeah, 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 I'll have it. So, I sent it over. As I say, he's a subscriber. And uh, sent me a few pictures of it first. So I kind of know what it is and what to expect. Looks like it's been well packed. Anybody can read what that says? Not that I'm interested, I'm just saying stuff for the sake of it, you guys. Um, I don't speak any other language other than English. So, let's have a look. Take out this polystyrene packing. It's been very well packed. A couple of bags, holding it all together this is looking good that is looking very good that's obviously I'd imagine this shell has been uh, homemade by somebody looks like there's brush strokes in there and one or else world Serpent World and European Champions 1985 Serpent Quattro Serpent again Four wheel drive it says on the shell Well Is it and what have we got? So let's take it out There we go If there's anything else in here What's that? Oh, a bit of plastic in there I'll get that out in a minute Don't know whether that was in there from something else or if it's to do with this but I don't, I don't know a lot about this um, I was speaking to um, I was speaking to somebody at uh, on Answer RC the other day on the phone um, and he seemed to think that um, this could have been a good like a, a rare version but after showing him some pictures he said uh, it's not, but it's still a very good car. It looks like it needs an air filter putting on it. Um, hopefully the engine is good and hasn't been run without the air filter. It's got AM radio gear. Through Tarba. It's got a battery pack stuck on there. Four AA batteries. I'll have to remove that. Well, although I'm not going to be actually um, uh, using this. Well, I'm going to get it going and, and so it's usable, but I'm not going to be using it on a daily basis because I'm going to keep it as a, a classic collectible because whether this is Oh dear, whether this is The grub screws are loose. Whether this is from 1985 or not It's in good condition by the looks of it doesn't oh there's some holes in the exhaust <laughs> I don't know what that's all about looks like they've been melted in the exhaust for some reason but um if anybody knows what these were like is it what what year is it probably from is it from the 80s um we've got some suspension but not well it's not supposed to travel very far is it but the main thing <laughs> they've got wobbly wheels 
I do suspect they're probably not supposed to be wobbly. Um, well, that's strange. I don't know how they. Uh, I don't. I don't know how they're supposed to stay on. There's a little thing in there, and, and like I said, I don't know anything about these, so I'll have to do some uh, investigating to try and find out exactly how they all work. So we've got an OS Max engine. I don't know whether you can see the right. I'll bring the camera in, and you can have a close look in a minute. OS Max engine. Uh, old style glow plug there with the big ball on the top belt driven got belts going looks like we've got two gears perhaps i reckon we've got two gears that wheel was rubbing on there um, old style servo servo's not stuck throttle's not stuck that's all, that's all working brakes um yeah what's the f oh the, the spring is bro well, not the spring the the plastic itself is broken on the tank, so that'll need to be addressed. There's a lot of uh, jelly nitro in there, but we will, we will uh, address that. We'll have to clean out the tank and get this uh, all cleaned up. But I reckon this is quite nice. I'll have to attach a battery. There's no transmitter for it, although we've got a receiver. We've got no transmitter. But luckily, I've got quite a few AM uh, transmitters. Um, I haven't got a green crystal, I don't think. Uh, oh, it's 40 megs. It's not 27. 40 megs. I didn't even read it. It's 40 megs. I, I haven't got any 40 megs uh, radio gear. I haven't got any 40 megs crystals or anything. And uh, I don't think a, a 27 meg crystal won't work in it. I don't think so. I won't be able to do that. I'll have to change it. I've got uh, quite a few 27 megs. Uh, receivers I've got quite a few different ones HPI ones uh, high tech ones I got a few Tarva ones got that one there that might work wherever you are anyway well it will work um, there's no doubt about it just because it's a 40 megs receiver doesn't mean that the servos won't work with a 27 megs receiver uh, that's just the receiving thing the servos will work on any frequency because the, the frequency doesn't affect them in case anybody was wondering um, if you've got 40 megs you can convert it over to 2.4 gigahertz you can put 2.4 gigahertz receiver on here whatever and uh, the servos will still work as they're supposed to speaking of servos where is the servo ah oh, it's there there's a steering servo nice belts it looks very nice under here i'm very surprised you know given the age of it you'd think it would be um you know damaged oh, i've done it again look. i've done it again that's because there's well one grub screw's missing and uh the other one's loose uh yeah loose so anyway let me uh give you a bit of a closer look right then so here we go look this is what we're looking at an os max engine hopefully that yeah that, that zoomed in on it os max what does it say os max rf if that means anything to you old school rock i don't know too much about these um 21 os max 21 that says there os max 21 um very very nice yeah it's looking good really a bit of dust on it but that'll be fine the belts look in good condition looks like they might be some um, you know homemade washer spacers there perhaps for the spur gears suspension no springs just shocks on their own there's the rear diff um, I think there's supposed to be a problem with the rear diff or there's a problem with something um, I'll have to have a look at that. I think that wheel is going to be an issue. I've got to work out how to get that off and try and find out why it's all floppy. This one's not floppy, it's just a bit loose. The front ones are alright. That tyre's coming off the rim there. So is that one. Um, yeah, we've got a, a broken battery box. So if I have to run this, I'll have to put a new battery box on. But I've got loads there, look. Or we could just stick a hump pack on from there for temporary purposes. Tank. That's where that's broken there, look. Unfortunately, that's a shame. But, um, 
F1. It says on there, look, F1. Anyway, a bit of jelly in there, but that'll be all right. I'll sort that out. Thing is, I will have to sort this hinge out because it needs to be able to hold a vacuum. Not a vacuum, bloody vacuum. It has to be able to hold pressure in it. Otherwise, it won't be able to push the fuel through. So I might have to either change the tank for a temporary one or try and maybe I can just hold it down or something. I don't know. Who knows? There's the holes in the exhaust for some reason. Why they were in there, I don't know. I don't know how that would happen. Looks like it's been melted, doesn't it? Soldering iron or something like that, perhaps. Maybe not a soldering iron. That wouldn't be hot enough. But something's happened anyway. But it looks very good condition underneath. Look at that. Hardly any scratches. Someone's done a bit of jiggery pokery there for some reason. Perhaps that's to fit on for a starter box. Oh yeah. Speaking of starter boxes, no pull start because the exhaust comes out there anyway. So there's no pull start because it well you wouldn't better get it because the belt there so it needs a starter box in order to start it but hopefully i've got a starter box that would um work with this hopefully because i want to see if the engine will run um and if the engine runs then i'll have a look at the rest of it but yeah i mean this might be for sale um the person who sent me this sent me another message to say hey it's fine pretty much if you want to sell it you can sell it. I don't mind what you do with it. Um, you can sell it if you want to. So if anybody wants this and they offer me a price that I like, um, I'll sell it. Um, but for now, I want to try and get it to run at the very least and see if I can get the servos to all work and have a look at that wheel to find out why it's floppy and maybe give it a little run, you know, see what it's like. Um, but yeah, very nice happy with that that's lovely yeah love it man so i've only just come back from a little holiday for the weekend and uh, this was waiting for me when i got back well it was actually delivered on the day that i went and uh, luckily enough um, it was delivered and i the person that it was delivered to said to me hey you've got a parcel turned up um because I get stuff delivered to somebody else's address because they're always in and all the parcels can just be delivered to them and then they tell me when one's turned up and I go and pick it up from their house. And they said, you've got parcels? So I was like, oh, brilliant. <coughs> I went and collected it from them. So this is a nice little present for me, a little surprise for me to open up after I've come back from a little weekend away. So, um, yeah, nice. There's a screw missing from that servo, look anyway so there'll be a video coming up quite soon hopefully this week if i get a chance to actually do it um we'll get the engine running and then uh, yeah we'll just go from there so the first thing to do would be to get the engine running to see how well it runs if it runs um if it needs any work um the person who sent it to me said have a look at the engine before you start it because someone's looked at it they didn't know what they were doing but to be honest well it is well, it's seized up, isn't it? It's stuck. It might not be seized, it might just be stuck because of the jelly fuel in there. So I might have to take it apart anyway. But we'll work that out on the video when I get it running. But nice. Very, very happy with this. Yeah, I reckon these were probably the bee's knees back in the day. So put in the comments. Um, oh, by the way, if your comment vanishes, I haven't deleted it. So don't get annoyed. It's because it's been held for review or something like that. Just be patient. Don't get annoyed. But put in the comments. Um, did you have one of these when they were new? When were they new? Do you know any information when they were made? Where, how old could this one possibly be? Is it from 1985? Because it says 85 on that sticker, but that's just a sticker. Does it mean anything? I don't know. These are out of my league as such. I'm not old enough to know much about these. And Yeah, so if any of you lot do, did you have one, what they like, blah, blah, blah. How do I get that bloody wheel off? Let me know. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stick around. And we'll see if we can get that engine to run. Ciao for now, you lot.